Alright, cool, cool. Alright, cool, cool. So, what's up, everybody? This is Trixel on deck, commentating with my good friend here. And right now, what we got is Volpe versus who is that? I can't read that text. Shunning. Shunning, alright. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. So, so far, he's gained his grabs, which is really good because it gets confirms. That's kind of um, Palatina's bread and butter from what I heard from Volpe. Mike's coming back with his bread and butter. All right, cool, cool. So Ike's pretty playing safe. He's getting his um, yeah, he's getting the same thing. His bread and butter. Oh my god! For a second, I thought he missed it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for a second, I thought I was below ledge. <laughs> All right. So he's facing with fair. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, he's just fishing for those and then trying to see what you get off that. Um, let's see how he covers his option in ledge. Yeah, Fulpe kind of gets on, on there for free. What's up? Oh, this Ike is actually a really nasty. <laughs> um, he actually went to the scene over at CFL and SmackDown. Cool. And there's a, uh, a guy over there by the name of Goblin Lad. And he legit 2 0 the man. Oh, he, yeah, he, he told me about him, too. Yeah, he 2 he two like one of the best boys in CFL. Damn. Good, stu good stuff, yeah. So let's just see how he does with the quote unquote second best Palutena. Oh, back to the action. He kill gets a kill off of uh, Backer. Honestly, backer so back, backer so good for um, getting kill confirms oh, and yeah. even like spacing and stuff like that. True. Like going cheating backer, hella hella good from what I've seen. Yeah, Ike has a I believe has an advantage in this matchup because yeah. of the fact that his hits are so strong and the fact that Palutena is very light. Yeah, definitely definitely a big factor on it. Um, what should we call it? Yeah. So let's see what's happening right now. So oh, got it. That covers the option really well. Yeah, Ike's are very susceptible to that, but Palatine and anybody with good counters, they can counter that horizontal yeah. recovery. So that's pretty damn good. Yeah, that's where pretty dang good. That's where Ike has his disadvantages. Both both of his recoveries require him to protect. So counters like easily. Yeah, mix ups are very important with recovering with Ike. But back to the action. Um, so I'm seeing that he's having trouble trying to cover all options with ledge. Now, I'm not too experienced with Ike. I'm not sure what his options are, but I'm just pointing that out. Um, but Volpe's kinda getting on stage for free. And now he's back to having stage control, which is pretty important. Yeah. Especially against a defensive player like I. Eh, and I'm not Volpe, quite sure. at the moment, I believe he needs to watch his percentage because at this moment, I can go ahead with a really good team Oh, yeah. No, def definitely. Like, one good. any, I think, like, almost any hit with him, with I could kill him. Potentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he's watching his percentage. But he's still. He can still bring it back. Yeah. He just needs to. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard. Um, he just need he needs he's struggling to get in and get those grabs, which stacks on the percentage he's getting. Um, but um, let's see. Looking kind of rough. But let's see. Okay, so he's starting to cover the Ike's starting to cover the ob options more, of covering normal get up and then roll. So that's good at least. Um, still letting him get on on stage free a little bit. Ike still has a buffer with his percentage, so he can go ahead and chill for a little bit. Yeah, Rage is nothing to sneeze at as well. That is true. All right. So he has to watch that too. So this could be kind of big, but he gets back on stage for free. Oh, well, not for free. He still gets a uh, grab combo, but he's still Freddy, living. Freddy and now like that, we're back to almost even. And he killed... Oh, oh, he does not. All right, cool, cool. See, Ike is thick. He has good survivability. Plus with his... um, I know I talked about how his, how his uh, horizontal recovery is kind of... So that's all to, you know, gain hit. Oh, here's something. If that could have been up tilt, that would have killed. I'm not sure if he could have got out of that, though. No, I don't think so. Up tilt? Yeah, up tilt would have been a confirmed kill. So yeah, they're getting a little bit antsy. They're getting a little bit antsy, and that shield damage is crazy. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, that kills. Do you think, do you think that, was bad? that was bad DI? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not sure because it kind of slowed down and it was kind of an angle. So if he, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. Yeah. But good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. All right, back into it. Back into action. All right. All right. Okay, so Battlefield is actually pretty good for pa actually it's pretty good for both of them because Ike has a uh, his hitboxes are really big and they can cover a lot of the space around him. However, Palatino could also um. Combo, same way, similar way, kind of like um, Mario and Captain Falcon can kind of do, especially with that meaty um, 
disjointed up uh, up air. So that's some good option coverage. Like people s people sleep sleep on that. Hmm, let's see. All right. All right. So he got a he got a back air, but he he's back to uh, stage positioning or stage control, which is pretty good for him. But um, let's see if he's gonna get anything. All right. So oh, okay, cool, cool. Still living. So, <laughs> Volpe shenanigans of Palatino's uh, recovery always scares me. But no, he knows his character. Oh, oh, he went for the he tried going for the gimp, but didn't quite get the angle proper. Oh, okay, the slow walk. Let, let's see, let's see. Again, this first stock is very, very important for staying the tone for the match, all right? So this is very, very tense. Ah, that's true. But at this skill level, um, especially with them, they are getting used to, um, they're pretty used to training the tides and stuff like that. So let's see what happens. Re neutral reset at this point. Kind of kind of awkward um, spacing right there. They're kind of inside each other's grill. Yeah. Alright, ledge hop. They're trying to feel each other out. Oh, no. Oh, rip. Well, then again, there probably would have been no way he could have gotten back with quick draw. Yeah, because wh when you want to recover with Ike, you want to start doing your side B. Oh. Uh, oh, two frames? Covering it. Alright. Okay. Like I was saying, with Ike, though, when you want to when you uh, want to recover horizontally, you need to do it above ledge, or else you're going to be completely screwed. Um, let's see. Let's see what's happening off stream. There's a lot of stuff happening. Apparently, we got a critter joining us in the fray. What is happening right now? We get, apparently, there's an opossum. Hell yeah, let's go. He wants to smash. He wants to see some good old smashing. So, let's see what's good. Okay, so we'll be still having a lead, but nothing too big yet. I can definitely bring it back, especially, um, especially with his strong hits. Okay. All right. Yeah, those up, those B canceling, man. He loves these. Volpe lives for, lives for these, man. <laughs> oh, and four tilt is gonna do it. Four tilt is super good for spacing as well, too. Definitely. But the thing is, is that it's kind of like um, F smash. It has an ending lag, so if he misses it, it would be easily. Quick. Yeah, it depends on which characters it can be safe on and what percentages. But um, yeah, it's definitely a good tool for spacing and punishing uh, approaches. But that's really good. All right, so back to get it. All right, back to stage control with Ike. Yeah, Volpe needs to keep him off stage if he wants to really get some. Oh, oh, gain those guaranteed follow-ups. Meaty, meaty. All right, let's see how he's gonna get back here. Yeah, Volpe can get back on the stage pretty easily with those uppies. So keeping stage control against him is very difficult. But so far, Ike um, shunning is doing pretty good. Showing out those really spacey aerials that really All right. Yeah. So they're kind of feeling each other out, trying to see. And oh, big mistake in neutral. Big mistake in moon neutral. This is, let's see how much it costs. Let's see how much it's cost him. All right. So dead even at the moment. Yup, exactly. So let's see who wins neutral. And that's Volpe. Let's go. Let's see what's happening. Oh, is he gonna go for the gimp? No, he's not. He's playing it safe. Oh, but he, yeah, yeah, still playing safe. All right, let's see if that covers the options. Nope. Volpe is gonna make it back. Those uppies, man. Those uppies work really well. Oh, Dean, damn. Got him. Yeah, quick draw is pretty good for new. And I'm not gonna say anything about that. I'm not too sure about it. Like I said, I'm, I play I, I like a secondary, so. <laughs> Not gonna say anything, but so far they're all right. Back to neutral, and oh, Volpe takes it back again. Now let's see how much. Oh snap! Oh, wait, but he's still alive. But I, I thought. You, can we, can we just get a timeout, bro? Like you you really have the percent. Lead. Honestly, they're at, they're at a minute thirty, so that is oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Takes it. Volpe. Volpe takes it. What is this? What is that? Two zero? Yeah, that is a two zero. That was a tight. He worked though. He worked. He put so many hours of work and dedication into that. No, let's be honest, because I remember him. Um, he told me back over at the Sports Day Lucy, he's done a lot of labbing. Like the jet, the, he has done labbing for a guaranteed jab combo. Okay, Mark, you get it. Oh, all right. There you go. What's going on? Alright man, alright, so I'm going to be heading out guys.